Is he is he the is he the toughest opponent you'll have faced to date? On paper, he is. I don't know if he's the most toughest opponent until we get in the ring. You got to ask me after that. Sure. Mikey, thoughts on that? Well, Saturday night, he's going to find out, you know, why I chose to fight him and why I picked this fight. Like um, all my other opponents, you know, they don't see anything, you know, flash. They don't see anything special. But when they get inside the ring, then they realize that I am special in a different way. I'm not your other opponent. Stop talking about your other opponents like I wanted to. But you will be another opponent just on Saturday night. We'll see. Yeah, we will. Keep that same energy. Keep yeah, that will. same energy you've been having. We're, we're going to find out. When man. I got humble out here, when you're in front of me, but when you're doing different interviews with Ellie and all the other stuff, you want to talk trash. <laughs> your, uh, your dad and your your brother, you want to say other, other things, but once you get here, you want to be humble and show a lot of respect and things like that. Now, nah, keep that same energy you had when you're in Cali at your gym that you have here. It's the same attitude I've always had. You know, I, I'm very confident in my skills, my abilities. I know what I can do. I know what I got to do on Saturday night. Well, I think this is the most I've seen you two kind of go at it. You've been really respectful. It, when do you flip the switch, Errol? Is it is it now? A lot of guys like Pacquiao says when he gets in the ring, that's when the flip the switch flips. When does it switch for you? Um, I mean, it's, I don't really have a switch. I mean, I, I'm calm 24/7. I'm calm. I could talk to Mikey Garcia in the locker room and come out during the fight and try to knock his head off. I mean, my switch stay on. I stay on, I stay on go. And I'm always ready, I'm always prepared. So, I mean, there's no switch for me. I'm naturally like this, I'm calm and things like that. I mean, I've been ready to go eight weeks ago. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm ready for fight night, I'm pumped up. I'm really tired of doing these press conferences and seeing him. I'm ready for fight night to put on a great show and another great performance. Fair enough, Mikey. How about for you? Do you do you have to? Does your switch flip now on fight week, or is it when it's closer to the fight? Look, um, I'm naturally always pretty calm as well, but um, you know I know what I got to do on fight night. I know, you know, all the work I put in, you know, for all the weeks in camp. You know, I didn't I didn't put all that time and all that effort for nothing. You know, Saturday night is the day that I got to execute. So I've always said, you know, I'm always very calm, very very collected, but. Once we get inside that ring, everything does change. So I would say, you know, once I get inside that ring is when that switch does turn on. But um, I gotta be calm, I gotta be confident, you know, that's that's just the way I am. And uh, I'm ready to get, get it on now. Do you have to fight the best fight of your life? I definitely do have to fight the best fight of my life, you know. If, if I don't, then I can't overcome the, the challenge, you know. This is a huge challenge, this is a big fight. You know, it's not easy to do what I'm doing. Not many are daring to do what I'm doing. And that's why I chose this fight. I want to make history. And in order to accomplish that, I need to fight the fight of my life. And you will see the best out of me on Saturday night. All right, on that note, let's open it up.